Hey guys, welcome back to the Writer's Room. On today's episode, we are talking about Seth Rogen's wonderful animated comedy. Fantastic. Family Affair, Sausage Party. <laughs> take your kids. Don't take your kids. <laughs> welcome back to the Writer's Room. I am your host, Matt. And I am Michael, coming at you from HollywoodRedux.com. That's right. HollywoodRedux.com is where we be. And what we're talking about today is Sausage Party. Sausage hey. Party, yeah. I like those lyrics, huh? Yeah. Got to right. recite her some lyrics, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're having our own little sausage party today on the writer's room, talking about Sausage Party. Um, mainly because uh, the girls in our group uh, have standards. No, I'm just kidding. We did see the movie with Crisalia, and she loved it. Uh, speaking for her, I guess. That was great. No spoilers. Yeah, we're going to try to do this as spoiler-free as we can, you know, because uh, there's a great twist at the end of this movie that it seems like nobody's done in marketing or trailers and things like that, and we kind of want to keep that because it was really nice to be surprised. Yeah, so we'll try to avoid that as much as we can, but uh, there will be some spoilers here and there, so just be prepared for that. So Sausage Party, if you don't know, uh, and if you haven't seen it yet, um, is pretty much uh, what it's like if food, you know, what happens to food? Like, what if it was com from coming from the food's perspective on uh, life, you know? What happens once they leave the market? Yeah, you know, they're, the sold this, uh, they're, they're sold this, like, bill of goods of, you know, when you go to the great beyond, the gods, us humans, it'll be, you know, eternal happiness. It's basically heaven. A lot perfect. of religious undertones throughout this a movie. A lot, yeah. A lot of religious dialogue going on there. Yeah, I really dug this movie. Uh, I thought it was funny as hell. Like, honestly, I was joking. Uh, well, I mean, I'm kind of serious at the same time. Where I say this, uh, this movie feels like the best movie of the summer and not necessarily <laughs> the greatest movie, you know, of the year or anything like that. But in a summer of movies that have really kind of fallen flat, you know, when it comes to story or development mm -hmm. or really just like doing anything more than just checking off the proverbial box of yeah. what they need in the film to keep us saying like, that was it. That was cool. Needs an explosion, you know, right? um, there's a big difference between cool and good, and this movie was really good. It was really funny. Yeah. Definitely not for children. No, don't take the kids. Don't Definitely take the don't kids. bring the kids uh, unless you're one of those super progressive parents, you know, and your kids are already smoking at age five. Uh, shame on you, <laughs> but go ahead and bring them to the movie. I guess they'll enjoy it. I guess. Yeah. But because I, I love this, this was basically a, an hour and a half long dick joke. It was hilarious. Uh, that was so funny, and like. Some people are talking about, like, like a lot of the racial jokes might get some, like, backlash. <laughs> but, like, to be honest, I think, you know, this this movie reminded me a lot of, like, Team America World Police. Yeah. So, like, they kind of went after everybody. So, like, yes, everybody going to this movie can be offended. Yeah, absolutely. Um, That's the goal. But if you're going to a movie to laugh, like, you got to be able to laugh at yourself, too, to be able to enjoy any comedy. So, like, yeah, go and have fun, because this really makes fun of everyone. everyone. And yeah, uh, every culture, every race, yeah, obviously, all over you know, the map. Food, you yeah, know, exactly. <laughs> from different places are going to be represented by uh, oh God, over the top stereotypes. Um, <laughs> oh, and they and they reached for them all. Yeah, so. and you know, uh, one thing that's not really, uh, I don't know if I want to say this because it's kind of, I mean, it's it, this will be the biggest spoiler is the villain really of the movie. Okay, um, because. There's no real way to kind of give a good review without talking about him because uh, it was played by Dave Dave Grohl. Dave Kroll? Kroll. Kroll. From Kroll Show. Mr. Kroll. You know, he was also the douche in he Parks and Rec. And uh, he was the douche in this movie. In this movie, movie too. <laughs> um, and he's actually the villain. And I, like, honestly, the, the characters were all developed enough to where, like, you were like, oh, my God, this guy, like. He's a douche. You're following it, and it's perfect. It's <laughs> all right, bro, like, all the time, you know. But, like, he was such a great villain. Uh -huh. And, like, he was one of my, like, my favorite quirk in the entire movie out of everybody. Uh there's two, but uh, the one being he always would say something like that would be <laughs> like, you know, I hope you don't catch up to me or something or I'll catch up to you one day or something like that. And like catch up comes in. It's like, hey, did somebody call for me. And he's like, God damn it. Catch up. Get the fuck out of here. And he's like so mad every time. He's upset every time. Yeah. Or like Gouda. Gouda rolls in. He's like, that's a fucking stretch, Gouda. And you know it. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> like those every time. And then at the end of the movie, he's like, I relish. The day that you mustered up the guts to catch up to me. And then he's like, 
don't even say a word. Just pans over to mustard, ketchup, and relish, like, <laughs> you know, like, shivering in the corner. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Like, those are great quirks, and like a lot of this is wordplay. Uh huh. Like, oh yeah. He, I mean, this was a clear thought of I. I mean, Jesus. Clearly, Seth Rogen, <laughs> Jonah Hill, and I can't remember the third writer's name right now. They were clearly stoned and like eating something, and like it must have had something crunchy in it. And they were just like, "Man, do you think like food feels anything?" <laughs> Oh, like, this is a great write, idea. Write it down. Yeah. Write it down. Somebody write it down right now. Like, it's just so ridiculous. Wait, what was it? <laughs> and uh, I mean, because it's such a basic idea, but it's so funny. Yeah. And like, you know, with some of the designs of the characters, especially the bun, I thought <laughs> like, okay, that might get a little annoying to watch just because like it's so on the nose. Uh-huh. Uh her mouth is clearly a vagina. Yes. I mean, come on. So uh, if you didn't know that, you're okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's like I thought that was going to get a little annoying throughout the entire show. But uh, to be honest, like I had a blast. None of these characters, like you, it actually spaces like the story. Like I honestly think this is like Seth Rogen's like best story mm-hmm. and like told story since Superbad. Yeah, it was like, fantastic. Hilarious movie. Well written characters, like the jokes were great. Like even the ones that were in the like commercials and mm-hmm. the trailers, didn't fall flat in the movie. Yeah, like that happened all summer long, where they showed all the cool parts in all these trailers. Like Suicide Squad, for instance, all the cool parts are in the trailer all of that of film. Yeah, we watched that film. We were talking about doing a review on it, but every time we started talking about what the story confused us, we ended up going on like hour long rants as to how this movie had no story. So that's bit. our little mini review of, of Suicide Squad. Very fun movie. We all had a blast, but somehow yeah. we don't know why. So th- scratch your head on that one. But unlike Suicide Squad, Sausage Party, I love this movie. This was like the best summer movie for me so far. It was fun through and through. You get to find out um, what happens when you leave the supermarket yeah. and the, the true <laughs> horrors that do occur. Um, when you think you're, you're being praised, you're, you're, you've reached heaven, you know? <laughs> no, I'm <clears throat> sorry. Complete Potatoes opposite. Just, just peeled. That was in the commercials. I can talk about that. Yeah. Just peeled and thrown into the Oh yeah. The whole boil. scene was out online and it, you know, and that's pretty much the whole scene there is, you know, they're killing the children, the killing the children. and it's very violent and like, but <laughs> because the animation's so good, it was like Pixar decided to like, it's like a bunch of people at Pixar quit. And decided to do this movie. Dixar? Yeah, Dixar. They even had a like a bumper bumper sticker in the movie. Um, yeah, but man, this movie is so good, and like the story was so great, and it was actually dense. Like there was so many different stories happening at once. Yeah, you follow the druggie who <laughs> yeah. buys bath, bath salts, salts. You know, very current. You know, very current. <laughs> <laughs> well, it probably was when they were writing it for the ten yeah. years that it took yeah. to make. Because I guess the joke on the the word on the street is like when they did super bad, everybody asked like, "What are you guys doing next?" Mm-hmm. And they just made up the title or something like that. Yeah, they were like, "Oh, sausage party sounds like something we would make next." Yeah, <laughs> and so then it, they just built on that, and like I'm glad they did because honestly, like Alan Menken did the like oh score, God. like perfect Disney. Holy soundtrack. shit! <laughs> like yeah, and like there's a nice musical number that opens up the movie, and like. <laughs> Um, and like, I'm not going to spoil what the actual ending was, but <laughs> holy shit, did I not in a million years expect the whole third act of this movie to be what it was. Nope. Oh it was my God. You need to see it. If you haven't seen it, go honestly, see it. like I think like 50 years from now, they're going to like just snip that like <laughs> 10 minutes of the movie or five minutes or last 10 minutes or so of the movie. And they're just going to put that. It's going to be like underground theaters are just going to play that entire <laughs> sequence because it is the most, rid- and it'll just, it's so ridiculous. It's but over like, the top and fun. It's, yeah, it's shock humor that makes you laugh, not just grosses you out. Like it's genuinely funny stuff and they're not afraid to like push the boundaries of like making jokes or mm-hmm. poking fun at somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whether it's race, sex, religion, you know, yeah. um, it it goes over everybody. So, like, hopefully everybody takes that and says, you know what? They went after everybody. I got to have a laugh every once in a while. This is really funny. And they do push the boundaries a oh, lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, um, don't bring your children again. 100%. Do not Reminders. bring your kids. Do that, not bring your kids. That last segment cannot be viewed by children. Um, so, Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't be. 
but I mean, if your kids have seen Team America: World Police, they can see this movie. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's up to par. Um, I think all the voice actors that had the normal affair, you know, the group, uh, they all did great. I, I loved all the characters, Bill the Hader. design. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fire water. Smoking all so All the non-perishables uh, having their uh, sex parties all the time. Um, but Super secret. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> um, we liked Sausage Party. Uh, yeah. I think it's safe to say. I liked the movie. So let us know what you thought of Sausage Party in the comments below. Uh, but for the writer's room this week, I'm Matt, and, and you can find me at Splashdown1 on all social media. And I'm Michael, and you can find me at What the Hess. And we're coming to you from HollywoodRedux.com. Check out some of our other shows, The K-Files, IGL, or a ton of our gameplay and shorts coming out. All of September is going to be VR month for IGL, and uh, all of Halloween is going to be Halloween Redux. So check us out. Subscribe below. Thanks so much for watching. Like Give us a comment, like, subscribe, and share. Bye-bye. Right. Bye.